Alrighty, welcome back to the surge. Now that I've taken a bit of a Make break, sure to report any suspicious activity to your superiors. I'm a little calmer, and I've had a few experiences with these guys. And now I can just kill them. It is, it's not a problem anymore. Uh, it's actually really fucking sad how easy it is now uh, in comparison to before. I've tried to, after looking back through some footage, I've tried to change my mindset because obviously going forward, trying to spam health packs through everything is nice and all. But I don't trust it entirely. We, we have to be able to defeat these guys in, uh, in general combat. Ooh, nice. And that means learning their tails, which unfortunately I suck at still. Uh, at least when they're doing the spin attack. One thing I've, uh, I'm trying to do is, you know, make sure to... Ah, fuck that attack. I can never dodge that one because I never know when he's about to do it. I can always do the follow-up, though. Whenever he does that little bottom spin attack, he always follows it up with a uh, overhead attack, which we can do with that, and then we can slice off his body. There. Okay. Obviously, we didn't do too great in that particular example, but that's like Hello, the recorder's officer. curse. I've been kicking those guys' asses for the last 30 minutes. And as soon as I'm like, all right, I'm ready to record, Be boom, I suck at there. it. Anyways, we're gonna head back real quick because I'm gonna go... Now that I have the schematics for all the Gorgon pieces, because I sliced off those guys, I need to give Arena her Gorgon body armor stuff. I can just give her- I think I should, I should just be able to give her level 1 versions of her gear. So it's not gonna be like a massive drain of my resources. As I was kind of initially thinking, I was kind of like, oh god, I'm gonna have to grind Mark III gear for her. And then I realized, no, I can just make the Mark I version of the Gorgon stuff and leave my Mark III stuff for myself. Speaking of Mark III, I did level myself up a little bit. If we, uh, press back before the game is ready, hold up, there we go. <laughs> I leveled up everything I currently have equipped to Mark III, and I have decided to use the Pax Imperator for the current duration. And also in terms of implants, I decided to give myself a decent health boost, so now we have 215 health, which is nice. I also equip one of the endurance things, so now we have a little bit more stamina as well. We actually have three vital boosts. Huh. But, yeah. I figure... I need to be able to see what I can do to try and survive these fights, so I'm messing around with some of these implants, even if it's not amazing. Alright. Unfortunately for us, there's fucking three of these guys, so this is gonna suck. The good news is they all fight the same way. Whoop, well, that fucking bullshit. Now that I've had a little bit of experience with the, uh, the combat system there, I have to say, I really don't like the duck and dodge mechanic. It's, or, let me rephrase that. Uh, I like the idea of the duck and dodge mechanic, but it is a massive fucking hassle to actually use it. And I will explain to you why as soon as we're done with this fucking guy. So, here's my problem with the duck and dodge, or the duck and jump system. The biggest thing, and pretty much my biggest issue with it, is you have to be holding down another button for it to work. You have to be holding down the guard button, and then press up on the analog stick, on the right analog stick, or down on the right analog stick. What that means is you have to kind of go through this really clunky system where not only do you have to try and predict the enemy's movements, you also have to go through like three different actions in order to counter it, if you're going to try and duck and jump over their attack. And that's just dumb. <laughs> like, if they had made it a dedicated system, I really wish this fucking drone would come and attack me. Ah, oh, jeez. Not like this! Ow! 
Anyways, if they had made a more dedicated system for it, that would have been nice. You know, say, um... <laughs> I fucking... The drone's shield just knocking me back a bunch. I'll get you, don't worry. Anyways, if they made it so, like, say, A makes you... Well, I guess, I think A should probably stay dodge. Uh, although, considering Dark Souls controls, they could probably make dodge just B. If they could make it so X was the duck and A was the jump for the dodging mechanics, then you could make it so the combat, in my shitty non-gaming development opinion, um, I feel like the combat would be a little bit easier to get into. At least in terms of employing all those strategies, because what I discovered, besides how annoying it is to do this, is when I, sometimes when I would try to Hello. duck and dodge, I keep fucking saying duck and dodge rather than like duck and jump. Anytime I try to duck and jump, I had a few instances where I would lock on to a different body part because my guard had not been initiated. And that sucks, right? <laughs> that you should not have an in-between middleman system blocking off an important ability that's supposed to be, like, a mainstay. Uh, at least in my opinion. I, I do think that if you could fucking just slap some of the other buttons into doing other things. I don't need X to always be activate, uh, item. You can make the item activate automatically as I walk up to it, if I stare at it angrily enough. Anyways, what the fuck does this chick need? I think she needs pretty much everything? Anytime. Oh, it's you. I... I don't have time right now. Still missing equipment. The chief is going to kill me. I can't let you go out there without the proper equipment, can I? I know you mean well, but... I need full Gorgon armor. Security standard issue. Ah, I was hoping she would say it. I have to go now. And you. So I think she just needs her right leg, body armor, and her helmet. She said it to us before, but, you know, I took a break, so I completely don't remember what the fuck she wanted. Do you require assistance, Warren? Yeah, you could make a... a quest marker. <laughs> so I know what the fuck I need to make. Alright. Um... The good news is, if we just make Mark 1 stuff, they're really cheap to make. We just have to make sure we're making the Mark 1 stuff. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. And while we're here, let me actually see what this would look like. Wow. That's actually pretty disappointing. Ooh. That look like a robot. I like the helmet, but I don't like the, uh... I don't like the chest plate. It actually looks kind of stupid like this. I mean, I don't look much better in my mishmash of, like, Have four different day. suit sets. Yeah. Uh, actually, maybe five. We have the Lynx, the Scarab, the Proteus, the Rhino, and that actually might be it. Yeah, okay. Hello. Oh, it's you. I the chief. Might have equipment for you. I can't let you go out there without the proper equipment, can I? Well, let's see what you got. Let's see. Have some. Uh, here, have a Gorgon leg armor. Try this. Should be the right one. I don't know what to say. Thanks. That is one part closer to being myself again. I'm probably gonna have to kill her or something after this. I'm not like directly, but a little bit afterwards. Perfect fit, I'd say. Thank you. Means I only need to find that one last part now. Here, I think this helmet should fit. Thanks. I owe you one. You just spared me a lot of trouble. I have to go now. Try and stay out of trouble. I will. Probably thanks to you. All right. <laughs> now she has it all equipped. Oh, hey, my white knight. Thanks again for your help. Won't forget that. Guess you saved my neck there. I have to go now. I will. All right. I am curious to see what happened with uh, the other two guys. I, this is probably Hobbs. Oh shit! There's a fucking bot here. But what about Davy? We didn't get his medicine, so... This isn't Davy, this is just the other jackass. But, uh... 
I have to imagine Davy. Ow. He's either running around crazy somewhere or got out. Hmm. Here he is. I did a lot of fucking damage there. Look at that. It. It's at half health after two hits. I need to figure out what are the best attacks for this thing. I wish it wasn't glitched out. Yeah, all right. We'll just charge up and smack and dab. I have to learn how to fight these guys, too. Ancillary XL. What is that? Sort it by newest. <laughs> Not that it's super helpful, but, uh... All right. Ancillary. Increases core power. Ooh, by nine. <laughs> That's the thing I want. I should equip if I want to have certain Welcome other abilities. But yeah, I want to learn how to fight these guys. The scorpions. Because otherwise, they're going to give us a rough fucking time elsewhere. No, no, come on over. Let's have a fucking party. Or not, whatever, I guess. Ow. Man, even with with my Mark III armor, these guys kick my fucking ass. Uh, I tried to duck that. I think that's what I'm supposed to do for that attack. Oh, Jesus. Haha! I blocked it! I blocked it! <laughs> Ow, can't block that one. Alright, sorry, I got cocky. Guys, I could have saved myself so much trouble if I knew I could block those partic particular attacks. Holy shit. Ow! Son of a bitch, I'm just gonna shoot you. How do you like that, buddy? I don't know what the fuck that does. Is it just reflecting my damage back into me? Making me like my worst enemy? I don't fucking know, but I'm gonna kill the drone. Jackass. Alright. Oh! The other two guys don't respawn! Awesome! Well, now that I've saved Arena, I will gladly officially move on to the next area. We are a new... Gum. We are a progressed gum. I might not be dramatically different. Like, I was hoping I would have like a full Gorgon set or a full Proteus set, but I realized how how much of a grind that would be to do it. I mean, I pretty much had the upgrade materials for it, but the problem is the core power. Uh, upgrading to a full Gorgon or full Proteus set requires a good decent bit more core power than I currently have. And I, I wasn't well terribly done. interested in dealing with that at the moment. Hey buddy, how you doing? Have you been cleared for this sector? Alright. Fail to recognize authorization. Please report to security head at now, since I've pretty much leveled myself up a good bit, I could probably put a couple points into core power. There we go. Earliest opportunity for new ID. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. I think I the only reason I I grabbed this Mark One Vital Boost is because of core power. Do I have a Mark Three Vital Boost? I don't. Not yet, at least. Hmm. Well, I think we'll keep this stuff. Um, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a janky build because obviously I would love to still have uh, the the one thing I would really want is to have the energy based health recovery. That would be pretty nice. 
But it's nice to also have consistent 30% minimum energy. Especially since it only takes up two core power. Ah, this is a rough decision. I just wish I had a, a higher level version of the Medivac, or the Medivoltaic Injection. Even though it looks like I probably wouldn't be able to use it anyways. Alright. I just want to have an extra way to heal myself, because only six health bags is not really good, in my opinion. <laughs> I knocked him over. Ow! That's just cheating. Alright, note to self, fighting two on one is still a little bit more of a bitch than I would like it to be, but we'll make do. Okay. Well, let's kill this guy. This unfortunate bastard went to work without any armor at all. So he's pretty much the easiest one to kill. <laughs> All right, let's begin our general exploration. I'm sure some people will be happy that I'm not using um, my other sword thing. Ooh, anti-kinetic shield. Your drone shields you for a certain amount of time, reducing incoming damage. Oh. But only reducing, right? <laughs> only reducing, not negating. Although, we'll see. Sometimes sometimes developers make it the same thing. Also, oh, this place is gonna suck. Look at all these side passages. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I just wanna see what this looks like. Awesome! All right, so you actually have to try to get me killed to prime it first. She made me go through security right through the damn HQ. Said there was no other way. <laughs> sure, the vent system would have been a better option. Even the main entrance was less guarded. <sighs> I nearly got killed because of her. I am so stupid to put all my trust in her. But who else have I got? Hmm. Are we supposed to not be trusting Sally? I did already kind of think, what if Sally's a computer system or something? That'd be a fucking annoying thing, but whatever. Oh, this just leads back right around here. Okay. But, yeah, so we just I just learned a little nice uh, trick. Or not nice trick, but the way this, this works. This is reserved for security personnel only. I can dedicate resources to a drone if I'm doing really well in a fight, and then use the drone later on. So that should be fun. If I'm in a particularly tough fight, I just press Y a second time, and I'll be a little safer. Although we'll see... Oh, God, right. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so we got that stored. Hopefully we run into an enemy that's pretty easy for me to deal with so I can get a cheap heal. That's all I want. Cheap heals. Hmm. Where does this go? No. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere currently. I don't like the sound of that. Copy that. Oh. Right, the network's still down. That's a lot of security, that guys. There's no internal sensors or cameras, but we did just get a power spike from one of the service elevators. He's got a fucking, like, gravity hammer. That means we have an intruder on this floor. Yeah, that's I me. Want additional forces to the boardroom right away. Nothing's to get through. 
In the meantime, you two, go and check out the area around the elevator. Coordinates have already been sent. No games, no warnings. Take down any unauthorized personnel immediately. No sir, yes sir? All right. Well, what are you waiting for? Move out. Yeah, get out there, boys. Just not this way, please. Please, not this way. All right. Where the hell are we? Yeah. This is a bad looking room. It's a very bad looking room. That's a security door. All right, Echelon 9. We are currently in the Armory Ventilation. A little bit past the Towering Eye. There's not much else here, so I'm guessing this is like a boss room. Or a horde room. All right! This is gonna fucking suck. I have to fight for my life here. So I can go up the elevator. Here, now here's the question, am I gonna fight those or- Lay down your oh. weapons and come peacefully. Okay. Or don't. It's just the same to me. I'm laying down my weapons. There. Oh boy. Ah! for reducing damage. Oh my god. Okay, this guy is hardcore. This guy is hardcore. Take care. Damn it. I think I might have missed a, a shortcut. Authorization. Please report to security head at earliest opportunity. Excuse me, come through. ID. I just want my gear back, my scrap. I'm gonna keep throwing myself at this boss. Who I guess is an actual boss. Ow. He's an actual boss because he has an actual health pack or health bar. This is just the exo lift. Damn it. Yep. I was hoping there could just be a shortcut straight into here because this guy's gonna kick my ass a few times. And that is gonna suck. That's the one reason- wow, oh my fucking god. That's why I don't like using- I didn't like using the Pax Imperator. It is such a fucking slow weapon. <laughs> I'm like stuck in my animation. Make sure to report any trying to get the hell out of it so I can actually do something else and uh, nope. Oh yeah, yeah, this, this, this is good, this is good, alright. That time around they had their stun darts on the ready. Hey, when I died and used up my, uh, I didn't use up my drone. So I still have it for the more appropriate version of the fight. All right. This is gonna blow. I keep losing my gear further and further out. I need to just, like, peck at him. Whoa, Jesus, what the fuck? Ah! Seriously? Oh my Jesus. This guy's gonna be, uh... Probably the toughest boss we faced yet. 
If you are not cleared for this sector, we cannot ensure your safety. Mostly because... Well, he's a human-sized enemy. And I have no idea what his attack patterns are, so... Yeah, I'm just fucked in that regard. Fuck this thing, by the way. Fuck the person who put this here. <laughs> what an absolute middle finger to the to the player. Oh, you died to our incredibly hard boss? And you want to run straight back? <laughs> no. Ow. Fucking Christ! I don't know what to do about this. I spent half an hour learning how to deal with these fuckers out here. And now that I've learned them... We go against an enemy that, like, completely shatters everything we just learned. So, that's fun. Fucking goddamn developers. I want to learn how to fight this guy. He just has so many moves that I don't know what the fuck to do. I mean, he just, like, he does that jumping attack. Obviously, we can't block that. Then he follows up with that fucking shit. That shit. Obviously, can't block that. Have to dodge that. I think we're just gonna have to dodge this guy. Just attack, dodge, attack, dodge. Hope for the best. I can't even do like a secondary attack. The only good thing about this Pax Imperator is it's gonna ch it's gonna chunk his health a little bit. Oh jeez. What? No! 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 What the fuck, dude? Ow! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I have to deal with the second fucking boss. What the fuck? Who made this bullshit? Ah, just two shot me when I have 215 health. Oh my god. What do I even do about that? I have 219 health. I have 102 defense. And I have high stability. And I get two-shotted by almost every fucking enemy in the game. Not just the bosses, just even normal fucking enemies can like completely destroy my health. And it's frustrating because I'm starting to grasp that that's kind of the point. That, you know, every enemy is supposed to be, like, a legitimate threat, and that we're supposed to handle them in the, like, most perfect way. But I don't... 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to like trade off everything to change up my gameplay. If I want to try having more health packs, I have to get rid of my overall health. So... I don't know what to do about that. I can't believe they send in another fucking boss. You see that you're supposed to be able to dodge or like jump over that attack? I can't wait to try and dodge that. Oh, yep, all right. I've got two fucking health items. supposed to start shooting rockets, dude. At least when it jumps, it doesn't do damage. Lord knows they could have fucking just done that. Okay, I think I have to be away from it for it to start its maximum security shit. Oh god. Not a fan. Yep, all right, this is where I died. <laughs> I don't get it. Now, obviously... Make sure to report any <sighs> suspicious activity to your superiors. Obviously, this guy's supposed to be, you know, an actual, like, not damaged version. So, of course, he's going to play slightly different from the first boss that we ever fought in the game. But what's the point of the fucking heat bar if I don't know what the fuck to do about it once it's maxed out? <laughs> he's like, enforcing maximum security measures, and then he just fucking keeps doing the same shit over and over again. Am I supposed to try staying at a distance while he shoots his fucking cannon at me and it gives up? I don't know. Oh, look at that. It actually hit it this time. So I am supposed to just run around the fucking room and have it shoot at me. Of course, I'm completely out of fucking medkit, so yippee, I found that out. Take care. Someone needed to give these developers a hug when they were a kid, and it didn't happen. I will gladly be one of the first people to offer to give them a hug. Just, just, you know... Just send me on by, you know? Come on, little bot. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now 
Now I need you to leave this corner. Ow, ow. So I can go do things in it. No, not go back into the corner! Fucking hell! You think you're so fucking smug with your giant robot! Anyone can make a giant robot! Well, well, maybe not actually, like, physically create one. That's kind of a little bit of a task. But anyone can deploy a fucking giant robot that's just literally chilling out in the fucking hangar and refuses to do the one thing that needs to fucking do so he can fucking DIE! Just shoot at me! Just fucking shoots! Now what happens? <laughs> now that I'm at one fucking health bag, and I've set two things on fire, what the fuck do I do now? Am I supposed to get them damaged more? Not just light them on fire? I tried to know! <laughs> I don't fucking know, viewers! I have died to this fight at least 20 fucking times, and I'm losing my fucking shit! Alright, I'm fucking losing it. Be alert, be vigilant, be safe. Maybe if I get him to stab one of these things himself, we'll get something cool to happen. Didn't do shit there. Come on, little man. Come on, Pax Imperator. Just tell me how to kill you. Because <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. It's not the shooting this shit. It did something, you know, we, we have fire. The fire's not doing anything. I'm not seeing a third thing to, uh... to set on fire, except for possibly whatever is behind the cyber... The black Cerberus leader, I guess? Wait, what? What just happened? I don't know. I don't know, I did damage to him, but I have no fucking health items. Why- what changed that time? Uh. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. Warning. Sector under security alert. I just wailed on him for, like... ...a solid three fucking minutes and he just fell down and I could do damage suddenly. Am I missing something? Is my boss glitched out? Is he just supposed to get- take damage and then I destroy him? Because, uh, that would be, that would be f swell! Which is the complete opposite of what this boss fight has been like. Okay, we've knocked it down for a second time! Wail on its head! And hope that we do a lot of damage. We're not gonna do a lot of damage. I don't have the stamina for this shit. But we got it halfway down. So, that's a plus. You know what I need to do again? Ow. I need medpack spam again. That's what I need. But I can't do that because I don't have enough core power stuff. Right. 
So instead, I just have to sit here and hope we don't take a massive amount of damage when the fucking actual boss comes back. Oh, come on. Come on! Yes! All right. <laughs> we killed the second Pax guy. Now it's time to fight this fucker again. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? So now when he slams the ground, there's like electricity and shit? That's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna fucking die here though. Because I just don't have enough healing items. Zero healing items for... yeah. What's probably gonna be the hardest part of the... the second hardest part of the entire thing. That's gonna be a no-go. Alright, so what you're supposed to fucking do there is just keep on wailing on- on the robot. This is not made completely evident, because the first time you fight him... I don't know, I didn't really... <laughs> I learned to fight the first boss by leading its attack back into it. So, I don't know if you could have just wailed on the first boss without worry? I don't know. But, uh... I'm so fucking frustrated. Okay. If I were to get rid of some of these health boosts, I might be able to get some stuff out of this. Um, if we sort by Mark, and then slap a 9 core power, I could give myself some of these plasmic regenerators. Or I could go for just straight up uh, vital injectors or vital injections. Even for going the boss fight. Or even for going health bars because fuck that noise. So we can still keep our 204 health, but now we have uh, 12, 12 healing items. Actually, a little bit more. I think we have 15. Because we have 9 of the vital. Uh, point three, and then six of that. Be yeah. Be All right. Be safe. Well, we're gonna see if this works out for us. It's gonna suck not seeing a health bar, but but maybe we'll see a health bar anyways for a boss. I don't know. All right. Here's try number three, boys and girls. Uh, we've grown. We know how to fight this stupid boss. It's not going to be fun. But we can make do. Oh wow, that was actually pretty fucking fast. What? The overheat thing didn't go fully up, so I don't know what the hell that was about. Alright, whatever. I have way, way more healing items this time around than before. So that's good problem is he I think he can like one shot me so we're gonna play this the slow steady route I'm only gonna hit him once let him go through his attacks out or that's gonna happen I didn't know he was in the middle of his attack still I kind of just automatically assume that if he slammed on the ground that was the end of his fucking attack I was wrong Uh-oh. Please don't tell me I have to fight another Pax thing. Oh, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe this shit. Oh, great. I missed the attack that was gonna out. Allow me to get further through this fight. Just stay around the legs. Not that close though. Ow! Fuck that attack.
See, my problem with this is I pretty much have to do the exact same shit twice. Or three times, for all I fucking know. Oh, shit. That hurt me? That's so ridiculous. Fucking... I hate that tech so goddamn much. Just fall down! Please! Please! Come on! Fuck you! Just fall down! Just fucking fall down! I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Because I didn't know that was gonna be a thing that ha that can happen. I don't even have him at half of his health bar. What the fuck do I do about that? Oh, well. I'm out of health packs. If he summons another Pax thing, that's game over. Come on! I can't believe this shit, dude. I can't fucking believe this. A third one. A fucking third one. A fucking third one. And it comes out with full fucking up. I can't believe this shit. I have no health items. And these things put up the same level of fight as the first one. Which means... I have to somehow go through this fight flawlessly. Completely and utterly flawlessly. in order for me to be able to fight this guy while still having healing items. And you get fucked. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna try something. Because I have a hunch. So, we have these things, and I, the entire time I was trying to fucking deal with this boss, I was trying to get it to shoot these canisters. But the, the last time I fought this guy, I didn't have the canisters destroyed. So maybe, just fucking maybe, if I destroy these canisters... I don't have to worry about any more bullshit. We'll fucking see. Still... We'll, we'll jump cut forward a little bit more. Okay, so, now I've defeated that guy, the canisters are destroyed, let's see what the fuck happens here. He's still gonna probably kick my ass, but, you know, as long as he doesn't fucking back off, summon another Pax thing, and then get all of his health back, you know, that'd be great. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then slam! Thankfully, it doesn't seem to, um... That area of effect attack doesn't seem as deadly as it fucking looks. I mean, it, it probably fucking sucks to be in. But it looks like I can kind of be in, like, the little bit of the aftershock without worrying. Okay. He isn't calling for help, so that has me pretty happy. I might still die, 
but, you know, at least I've learned. We don't want to get caught in that fucking shockwave. Also, yes, I swap back to my other sword. Because by, uh, the Pax Imperator was starting to piss me off. After all the deaths I had in the middle of, like, a wind-up swing that I kept on trying to dodge out of... Yeah, no, fuck that noise. Can I just insta-kill him?! Oh, fuck yeah! Get the hell out of here! Holy shit! Oh, all right, let me just take a, a second here. I'm gonna stare at the ceiling and just evaluate my life and the direction that it's going. And, you know, we can just, we can hold one fist up because we've killed the motherfucker. We also seem to have gotten like the entirety of his set for the black Cerberus gear. So that's pretty cool. And we got his weapon, which is the entire point of me fucking aiming at his arm like that. Huh. It is a high-impact, very high-proficiency scaling weapon. Can I slam down on the ground? Yeah, we can kind of do some of the similar attacks to him. But it doesn't have, like, the massive static burst, which is disappointing. Oh god, what a rough fucking fight. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> One of the things that I'll keep on saying throughout this game, I think my overall opinion of the game is these fights are fucking ridiculous. But they're not like completely and utterly unfair. They're just really goddamn annoying the first time around. But once you've beaten them, once you've seen what you have to do, suddenly it's more like, oh, well, shit. That's actually not so bad. But you have to get there first. So, if you play the game, and you like, watch the Let's Play, you, you did a, like, a, you watched a walkthrough or something, this game's gonna be, like, way fucking easier than, uh, my experience with it. But, oh, my god. My experience with it so I far. I know the world seems to have stopped watching, and maybe <laughs> that's the issue. We've made some decisions. Decisions I'm not proud to say that I was originally a part of. But we wanted to do our best. What do they say? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Well, ours certainly were. Even those who I believe have now gone too far, they were still doing it for you. For mankind. But looking at the big picture, they... They lost perspective. We lost perspective. It's why I believe it is my duty as a citizen of this country and of the world to bring to your attention utopia. Unauthorized, unsanctioned, untested. Designed to replace resolve. Though instead of proper channels, it has been fast-tracked through the back door. You need to know what this will do what this will do to you all. Utopia is- <laughs> He's trying to blow the whistle! Quick, cut it off! System error. User profile cannot be loaded. So let me guess. Now I can access security doors. Welcome, Captain. Ha! Your equipment has been unlocked. All right, so where does this take me? Ah, oh. right in front of the operating center. Have you been cleared for this sector, lady? I am the security captain now, so you can bet your fucking ass I have been cleared for this sector. Welcome. Ah. <sighs> that fight took a lot out of me. <laughs> it really, really did. Holy crap. Because I just kind of, I kept throwing myself at it for a very long while. And obviously, 
it probably would have been a lot shorter if I had discovered all I had to do was wail on the, the PAX enemy uh, and it would fall down. But I didn't know that. I kept on thinking, okay, maybe if I do something specific, it will then get stunned and then I can do damage because that's what happened with the first packs. And so that was that was just really fucking unfortunate. It was basically me like spending an hour doing the wrong thing. And then like 20 minutes of competing. It really like after we learned what the fuck to do, it only took us two more tries to beat the boss. So it wasn't that terribly hard I just was missing the point I guess would be the the quick answer there all right I don't know what I want um I feel like we've probably missed a few things I did run through like all of R&D uh and even the section before that but I want more stuff we could slap on some stamina uh I'm just trying to get rid of the vital injections or the lower level ones I'm not really trying to abuse them too much we could go for more stamina or we could go for something else I wish it would tell you what it means when it says while near death <laughs> does it mean like when I'm below 50% health or something more I don't know let's try this out a little bit I want to see how much I can get done with this. Now, obviously, this is a big fucking weapon. It's super slow, so we gotta be we gotta be careful with that. But in exchange, it does a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't have stamina, so I couldn't fucking block. No. Yeah, we got our ass handed there. It'll be intriguing fighting the enemies without a health bar, but you know what? Be alert, be vigilant, be safe. Maybe the health bar this entire time has been a crutch. A really bad crutch. Okay, I don't like this weapon. See, with the Pax Imperator and the, uh, actually, I actually haven't tried with the, the Vibro Cutter, but with the Pax Imperator, I could counterattack these guys, which was like the biggest fucking portion of why suddenly they were just trivial to fucking deal with. Did I use it by accident? What the fuck's going on here? Oh. Alright. Now I've used it. Oh, fuck! I healed. You heard this. You heard the sound go through. Fucking reinforcement come out of nowhere. Piece of shit. All right. Uh, we're gonna unequip the the fucking mechanical thing. It's cool. I like the idea of it. I mean, increasing my damage by twenty for like everything there is probably a pretty significant boost. I mean, right now we do 82 damage, so they legitimately boost our damage by like 25%. Uh, I think I might have that wrong. <laughs> Anyways, it boosts us up by a pretty significant amount in comparison to our current damage, uh, which, which would be great. And it doesn't take that much, but it's kind of a distraction. Uh, maybe, maybe I should just leave it be. But yeah, it's one of those things where, like, I'm gonna try and grab it, and then I'm gonna get my fucking ass handed to me. Every single time. Oh well. I know I can beat these guys. We did it Welcome. plenty of times. So where am I going now is the question. I have security access. So I need to find the security doors. There's a security door back in the boss room, so I guess I could just go over there. Do you require assistance? Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. Please fail to recognize authorization. Please threat level elevated. No admittance at this time. I was going to go have a chat with Sally because uh I want to see what she says after all the things that we've done. Authorization. 
Please report to security head at earliest opportunity for new ID. Hey, Sally. Did you find the board? Make sure you have the correct security authorization. Look for a security rig. With the lockdown in effect, they're not going to take kindly to strangers. That's it. I better get going. Be safe. All right. Well, what does it even cost to make this stuff? And what is it in comparison? So if we look at my... the chess piece... It's actually kind of garbage. Well, it's, it has lower defense. Uh, and it increases my stamina consumption by 10% for fucking... That's it? It doesn't do anything super beneficial, and it takes up 11 core power? What? Oh, it gives you higher stability. Well, maybe you get like a set bonus if you compile everything, because this doesn't look like it's worth it at the moment. Like, look at this thing. It's barely got one defense higher at Mark III than my Rhino armor, but it takes up five more core power. What? What about this headpiece? Uh, it's got... Better energy consumption and better damage against armored targets. So that's not so bad. It has higher defense than the Goliath class. Hmm. Cerberus is the ultimate in anti personnel combat gear. Creo regrets that it is necessary to maintain a trained bearer military force, but the mission is. Uh, the mission to save Earth is too crucial to let idealism get in the way of operational security. This set of Cerberus gear has been customized with experimental components, authorized only for use by the ranking security chief. <laughs> he was the absolute toppest top guy of the toppest people. This sector, we cannot ensure your safety. And now he's dead. Hey. Did you respawn? Oh yeah, you would have. Because I went into, uh, I looked at my gear. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Up, oh, blocked, bitch! Alright. So, in exchange... We're gonna- we're gonna go for his headpiece. In exchange for losing out on an implant... We'll have a little bit more, uh, damage power. Which is nice, so I can kick some ass. At least that's the hope. Although that just outright killed him. Holy shit. What are we gonna do against the completely unarmored guy? Just completely ruin his day? Cause I'm fine with that. Ow. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, they, they still do a decent bit. Oh. I learned eventually, I kept on butting my head against this goddamn uh, a drone, but I can just sit here and let it pass by. I did not have to fight it every single time. I still think it was a- it was definitely a jokey dick move on the part of the developers to put this fucking thing in your way when you're having this boss fight right behind it. But if you're a little bit more patient, you can just completely avoid fighting it, so at least there's that. Alright. I know there's like Three different security could not be confirmed. doors. Really? What? I missed something then. I thought I had my security cleared, but apparently not. What does it mean by profile loaded then? Do I have to put on the Cerberus gear? No, that would be a fucking middle finger. To the player. Oh no. Let me look around a little bit. I feel like I missed something here. Either I have to have his set on anytime I want to go through a door, which would be kind of funny, or we're supposed to trick the system, and I just haven't found the way to trick it yet. Right? I mean, we overlogged, overloaded this thing, and we loaded our profile. Uh. Well, you know what? The good news is that I can make a level 1 version of the suit without worry. It's making the higher stuff. To recognize authorization. Oh wait. Please report to security head at earliest opportunity for new ID. I want this. 
Do I have- can I get this rig? I don't know if that's always been there. But look at it. Now it's all glowing, it's got this green hue. I want a new rig. A security-based one with more implants would be awesome! There's a weapon in there too! What? What? Oh! Sweet! Equip this rig at the med bay to unlock more implant slots and to gain access to restricted areas. <gasps> <laughs> oh hell yes. 16 implant slots! What? We're operating. Alright. Paramilitary Exo Rig specialized for security operations. Registered to the current chief of security, codenamed the Black Cerberus. Includes an embedded Im a biometric signature required for access to secure locations in the Creo complex, as well as an impressive array of imp implant slots. That's fucking awesome. So now, now I have an amazing amount of implants. Of course, they're probably gonna be locked off behind level barriers like this. But, we're far enough that we already have access to four more slots! Holy shit! Of course, we're excited, but we're probably about to run into, like, SIGNIFICANTLY HARDER ENEMIES! So, yeah, uh, our expectations should probably be curbed appropriately. We also have to worry about... Various things, like running out of energy. So... Gotta watch out for that. I could, if I wanted to, equip, like, a ton of the vital injections. We have... Oh, look at all the vital boosts we have. Holy shit, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I could give myself a boost of 180 health if I wanted to. Well, if we had enough slots. But I think we'll be fine with what we have right now. Nine, uh... We have nine... Main... We'll just throw our points into that. We have nine major vital injections, and then... What you do, you do for Creo. Then six plasma regenerators, so... That makes up for things. 